from that one and talking about being a rave whore this is um the recent update courtesy of Bergheim regarding their may lineup it feels like they've dropped this early usually if i'm not mistaken the lineup for the following month is usually dropped on like the 10th of the previous month so it'll usually be around april 10th and some april 11th you get it but they dropped this a few days in advance maybe because of the bank holiday i'm not too sure but there's here's the main lineup um to quickly go over it we've got um the garden opening finally the Bergheim garden is opening on the 1st of may if you don't know what that is it's basically the garden inside of Bergheim. it's really nice and um, it's quite picturesque it's quite chill people love it in the summer and it's a good opportunity to rave open air style because that's another kind of really nice part of berlin in general they have a really cool open air culture similar to like spain similar to parts of france as well where they have these really nice venues where they have these nice little courtyards and places with great sound Sound system sometimes the sound system are tweaked to kind of accommodate for it being open air where you can be outside smoking a good little doobie sipping on something nice talking to a couple of baddies while you flipping you know twirl your fingers in the air and start whistling at the nice electronic beats playing through the speakers so they know how to do outdoor life really well and i think we don't we have this really weird thing in the uk maybe because especially in london because everything's with all on top of each other and there's no room but essentially all the bars that have gardens in the london for essentially have to close the music off usually around 10 or 11 p.m which is insane so they force everyone back inside or they tell you to go home if you don't want to stay inside but in berlin the, the outdoor places basically stay open all the day all days basically all day long until the end of the party so if you want to have like a quote-unquote garden rave you can you can just stay in the garden have a pack of cigarettes there chilling having your cocktails and stuff talking and having a good time without going inside once so i absolutely love that anyway so they got a garden opening on the 1st of may featuring boris gabriel kwateng um ogazun and roy perez i feel like gabriele kwateng is playing um at berghain way more often than pre prior i wonder if she's already been welcomed into the team or she's part of the residence but regardless it's pretty sick to see so big up gabriele kwateng there um then we've got on the friday we've got bambi playing Bambi's the girl I featured, I think, here on a podcast regarding her little um, tete-a-tete with uh, the Black Madonna, now called the Blessed Madonna. So big up her for getting a position to play at Pan, at Panorama Bar there. you got a person called Bill Corglias, Erwin Seni, Nikki Leon, back-to-back with Bitter Babe. you got Nanguju, back-to-back with Tati, or Meli, and Up Sammy, who I'm a big fan of. Up Sammy's flipping amazing. Um, then the first club night, you've got uh on the 6th of may answer code requests who i love here justin perry who i love the lady machine who i love and um, panorama bar you've got uh who i like here bin genie on earth gideon Haiti lorden back to back with love fingers oh that's nice isn't it they're actually a couple these two are a couple I actually follow Haiti lorden on social media she's an absolute angel so big up Haiti lorden um they're back to back with love fingers playing alongside her boyfriend that's gonna be lovely jubbly isn't it right um don't get me wrong it's, it, can, it can get a bit corny when there's like dj couples when they start mixing and stuff and they start flipping you know you know sucking each other's faces off behind the booth it can be a bit corny but when it's done right it can be kind of cute as well to see these couples who are united who have been brought together by the power of vinyl and tunes lip sync behind the bar um then you've got refugee worldwide night happening as well on the 12th of may featuring helen star chris jones no plastic plo man um richard aking at King Benin and Sassy J. Then you've got another club night happening there the following day, the 13th of May. Who do I like here? I like Barker in the main room. I like Ben Clock. I like Cora. I like Fatty Moham. Um, I like Face Fatal, Virginia, of course. And in Panorama Bar, you've got Michael Blood playing, Batu, Ryan Elliott, back to back with Michael J. Blood again. DJ Sprinkles playing. That's an awesome. Not heard DJ Sprinkles in a while. That's a real nice booking over there. Some nice ones here. Checking out. Let me just scroll down and see anything else I can see. Young Marco is playing on the 19th at Panorama Bar. Josie Rebel, UK stand up. Big up her. She's awesome. She's playing at Club Night at, at Berghain as well on the 20th of May. And you've got a Toy Tonics night. <gasps> oh my God. That's going to be fun. Wow. Okay. This might be one I have to add to my list. I went to Berlin specifically for their party at Club Oxy um, a few weeks ago. 
and now I have to add this to my list. This might be another one I have to go to. Oh my god, 26th of May, there's a Toy Tonics jam happening in Panorama Bar on the Friday featuring Barbara Boeing, Cody Curie, Jeannie Lane, Capute, who's the founder of Toy Tonics, and Sam Ruffelio. And Toy Tonics is basically like an Itello disco, um, new disco, indie dance type of label. So, really kind of light, airy, summery, poppy vibe which is perfect for the summer months I, I'm imagining over there in Bergheim, Panorama Bar. So this is a brilliant booking. Oh, I can't wait for that one. Toy Tonics and Panorama Bar. Wow. And then the following day, um, the main room, you've got Arthur Robert, Inox Trax, Jacko Jacko, Casper Marot, Lily Ackerman, who I know, Nihad Tule, Olivia Mendes, Philippa Pacho, and then Panorama Bar, you've got Arm, Dinky, Elisa Elisa, Fort Ramu, Kikelomo, and N. Bauchhammer. <sighs> This might be had to be it, man. I might have to I might have to be back out in Berlin again for this weekend. It might have to happen. So if you don't see me around on the twenty sixth, the weekend of the twenty sixth of May, I know it's a long time coming, right? You're gonna know why. If you don't see me around this time, you're gonna know why. This might be something I might have to go to. But yeah, Berghain May um lineup is out there. If you're interested, you know where to get it. If you're interested, you know where to get it. <laughs> 